If I were to ask you, describe yourself, how would you do it? You can pause the video right now and just, just, just kind of like give yourself some time to actually think. Like I'm asking you, who are you? Okay. Now that you got that, now let me ask, who will you be? Who do you want to be? Were those the same answers? Was the person that you are right now the same person as who you want to be? Or who you will be? If they aren't, which they're likely not, And something needs to change. See, you cannot be going down the same road, the same path, the same monotonous life every single day and expect to be that person that you want to be when the person that you are is doing those things over and over again. So for me... Right, I thought about this a few years ago. Okay, I got um, I I'm on YouTube all the time, right? And uh, I was scrolling on YouTube and came across like some like visualization thing. Like I, I watch. Um, did you all ever watch MTV? Right, specifically um, like Rob and Big. Right, I used to love that show, like with um, Big Black Boykin, right, and then Rob Deerdeck and those guys. They would hang out, uh, and then obviously with uh, Fantasy Factory, right. I loved, I loved watching that show, and um, so I grew up watching Rob Deerdeck. Well, obviously he's he he does ridiculousness still, um, but now he's been on some podcasts and things. He's more of like an entrepreneur now than he is like just a, a skater, like a pro skater. Right? He's more just like entrepreneur mindset. Um, and when he talks on these podcasts, you recognize, oh, wait, he was always that entrepreneur person, but he per, he portrayed this other person on TV, which wasn't like boring entrepreneur business stuff, but that's what he loves. And he started talking about visualization, right? And manifestation and optimization, right? All of these words. And I'm like, what is that? So I looked into it, looked into it. And what he talks about is this future version of yourself. Not this, not the one that you are today, not the person you are right now. No, no. A future version of you. Not just a, but the future version of you. The one that you want to be. And this is what his manifestation and visualization is all about. It's mapping the path to get you from where you are right now to where you want to be. And when he talked about this, I'm like, okay, I mean, like, yeah, that sounds all good and well, but you can't just like, just think of some stuff and then it come true. And that's what I thought. But I still, it's still like, it wasn't like I just thought and left. Like it still kind of sat in my mind a bit. And then you start to see like vision boards and and especially like around New Year's, right? When that stuff comes out and like, uh, I'm going to make New Year's goal, New Year's resolution and make this vision board, right? And all of this stuff. And so I, I, I bought in. I'm like, why not? Right? It can't hurt. What else am I doing with my time? Right? So... I ended up making this. This was two years ago. Okay. What this is, obviously it's laminated, right? Um, Because I was serious about it. Because once I started doing it, one, I started realizing how fun it is to create this version of myself. But as well, I started to realize what I actually want in life. Right, Because a lot of us go through life without even knowing what we want. People just tell us. Our parents told us that we wanted this. 
right? Our teachers told us that we wanted this certain thing. You know, our coaches told us that we wanted this, right? And it was never what we wanted. We wanted it because we were told that's what we wanted. And with, when I developed and wrote this, which I'll touch on in a second, I actually understood what I want. What I wanted. And this was two years ago. I was 21 years old. It took me 21 years to figure out what I want. And I still haven't even figured it out. But I got close with this. It took some time. Um, but ultimately, this gives you a roadmap. See, what this is, this is a Wikipedia page of my obituary when I'm dead. It's my, my whole synopsis of my life. Right By the time that I die, this is the life that I have. So a few things I touch on is just my early years, right? Just like a normal Wikipedia page, you know, when you go look at like, go search someone's, go search Rob Deerdeck on Wikipedia and it shows like his early life, uh, then like his career, what he did uh, in the business career. Like that's literally mine. I have early years, I have social media, film and television, a business career, like with my business, charities that I'm going to create, all of these things, right? are in this Wikipedia page and it's a summary of my life when I'm dead. We're talking like 80, 100 years from now. And that, what that does is it gives you a map. It gives you a road map to follow. Now, am I saying that this is the exact way that my life, like literally you can take this and then print it in a hundred years and that, that's the exact thing? No, I'm not saying that. Obviously not. But what it does is it gives you that map. It gives you your destination. And now what you can do when you have your destination, where you want to go, you personally, not what people told you where you want to go, but what you personally want to do when you have your destination you can now traverse back and work backwards in connecting the dots. See, because if you want something done, the best way to get it done is not moving forward, but instead planning how to take your first step forward. See, I think there's like a there's a famous quote. I think it was like um, asked by Abraham Lincoln or something. I don't know, maybe, that, maybe it's completely wrong, but it's something of the sort of, if you want to chop down a tree and you have 100 hours to chop down this tree, I would spend 99 hours sharpening my ax. Instead of just going out of working, hammering down, right? Just getting it, just going grit, exerting yourself, having to rest, having to pick it up, right? Sharpen your ax. Get it to where it takes three swings. Boom, tree's down. It's a lot easier to sit there and just sharpen than it is to just whack at a tree, right? See, one of them has a goal in mind and it works back. It says, okay, in order to cut down this tree... I'm obviously going to need force, but instead of just using brute force, what is there a better way? Well, an axe, I'm going to have to use the axe. So, okay, if I sharpen that axe, okay. All right, so what if I just sharpen it for more time, get it real sharp, and so then it's easier to cut it? Okay, that's probably the best method. Instead of just axe, tree, cut, right? It does. It is difference. And so many people go at their lives without even thinking. They don't even think. They do, they, it's autopilot. It's autopilot. You just go through the motions. And I've, I did it for 21 years, just going through the motions. And like I said, this, and then I say this specifically because I've taken this out now and it's retired and I've continued to mold and develop it, right? I can, I've edited this now and like changed it in ways because one thing that I wanted back then I'm like okay I don't really want that anymore now and you change it as you go 
but you're still in the right direction. You're still traveling north. And so I urge you, if you have not thought about what you truly want in your life, what you want to accomplish, how to manage your own self, if you haven't thought about that, take today. Take this time today to go in and figure out who you are. Not who you have been in your past, but no, who you are today and will be in your current and further future. Figure that out and I promise your trajectory of life will be exponential. I'm excited for you guys and I'm on a mission with you as well to help improve each and every one of you while I am improving myself. I'm doing that with videos like these, so if you enjoyed it, please let me know in the comments why you enjoyed it. If you didn't, let me know why you did not enjoy it. And guys, I'm putting these out every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. We'll keep on doing it, so see you in the next one.